what you want to do first is look up Smappy or Stardew Valley modding API. And the first thing that you should find is Smappy, Smappy.io. You will want to click on that and you'll find a little pufferfish chicken. What you want to do is go below the description and hit download Smappy 3.6.1. I do a direct download, but you can download from Nexus if you know how to. After that, you would want to go down to Smappy Installer Zip File, and you want to Show in Folder. You will want to right click on it, Extract All, Extract It. After extraction, you'll find a file folder and not a zip file. What you want to do is click on that. Click on Installer, and I don't use Linux or Mac, so I would want to click on Windows. So I will click on Windows, and it will bring me to this. It will say 1 to install or 2 to uninstall. I will want to press 1 and hit Enter, and it will tell me that it's installed. To download mods, what you'll want to do is go to Nexus, but I already have it bookmarked, as you can see right under my search bar, so all we need to look up is Nexus Mods. After that, we'll find Nexus Mods and Community. You will want to click on that. This mod website has countless games that you can get, but what we'll want to do is get Stardew Valley. There's countless mods for this, too. But I'm just going to show you the ones that I love using. The first one is CJB Cheats Menu. In order to download it, you would want to click on it and go to Manual Download. And as you can see, it requires Smappy or Stardew Valley Modding API. But we already have that, so we're good. Now, what we'll want to do next is go down and hit Download. Then it'll take us to slow or fast download. In order to do slow download, the free one, you'll need to create an account, but don't worry, it's completely free to do so. So you would want to click on slow download, and it'll take five seconds to download the mod, and soon you'll see it spawns at the bottom as a zip file. You want to click on that and hit show in folder. Then you want to take that and hit extract all. But before you hit extract, you would want to go to browse in order to put it in the Stardew Valley folder. Go to your local disk or where I downloaded it. Go to program files times 86, not the normal program files. Then you want to scroll all the way down to Steam. Then after that, you want to go to Steam apps. After you click on that, it'll take you to six simple ones. Go to Common, then go down to Stardew Valley, the one that we're getting mods for. It'll take us to Mods. you want to click on that. Then you select that folder, because you want your file folder for the mod in there. And then after that, just hit Extract. What you want to do next is go into your Stardew Valley folders, and in order to make it work, go to Stardew Valley Modding API.exe and hit Create Shortcut, because you want to create a shortcut to drag out to your laptop or desktop. It'll load in. You'll load into Stardew Valley. Then what you can do is create a new character, then come into Stardew Valley, and then you can see that your mod is in perfect order.